Volkswagen finally gets DIY battery preconditioning. Here's the clever fix they missed. Hey there, EV lovers. Hussein here, and welcome back to EVpedia, the home of electrifying stories, shocking innovations, and of course, your daily jolt of EV wisdom. Now, before we jump into today's topic, let's make a deal. You hit that subscribe button, tap like, and help us reach 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments this week. Oh, and while you're at it, go ahead and hype this video. It's totally free, and it shows YouTube just how powerful our EVpedia family truly is. Disclaimer, all rights to respective owners. This content is for information and education only. Now let's get into something that's been bugging Volkswagen EV owners for quite a while, battery preconditioning, or rather, the lack of it. So here's a question for you. Would you risk tinkering with your EV's battery system just to make charging faster in the cold? Think about it and tell me in the comments below. All right, let's dive in. For years, owners of early Volkswagen MEB-based EVs have been facing a frustrating limitation. Despite having all the right hardware tucked neatly inside, models like the Volkswagen ID.3, ID.4, and ID. Buzz, as well as the Skoda Enyaq and Cuperborn, didn't come with a proper battery preconditioning system. That means when winter hits and you roll up to a DC fast charger with an ice cold battery, your EV takes ages to charge because the system restricts power until the battery warms up to its happy zone. The strange part? These cars were capable of it all along. The hardware was there, the heater and coolant pumps were there, but the software didn't let drivers activate it manually. The system only worked passively, maintaining a minimum temperature, but never proactively preheating before charging. That's like owning a car that has heated seats, but no button to turn them on. Now, newer Volkswagens have this feature built in, thanks to software updates. You can simply tap the touchscreen to start preheating before heading to a charger. But what about those who bought their EVs between 2021 and early 2024? Well, here's the shocking twist. They don't have to wait for Volkswagen anymore. A clever engineer just built his own fix. Meet Frederick Gustafsson, a security engineer who got tired of waiting for software updates that never came. Instead of complaining, he got creative. Gustafsson designed a small circuit board that plugs directly into the car's battery management system, BMS, harness. It basically tricks the car into thinking it's time to heat up the battery before a charging session. It's not as simple as downloading an app, but it's surprisingly doable. The circuit board is programmed using a small USB dongle, then connected through an extension cable behind the glove box, where the BMS connector lives. Once it's set up, you can power the board with a regular USB-C cable and boom, manual battery preconditioning for your Volkswagen. The total cost, around $40 to $50, plus your time and patience. That's cheaper than a service visit and a whole lot faster than waiting for a new model year. Of course, it's not perfect. You'll need to manually plug in the USB power to activate it each time, and there's no display showing what the system is doing, no temperature data, no status indicators. And let's be real, poking around your car's BMS isn't exactly what Volkswagen had in mind for home tinkering. Important disclaimer, modifying or tapping into your EV's electrical system could void your warranty and carry some risk. EVpedia does not recommend you attempt this unless you fully understand what you're doing. That said, Gustafsson insists that his setup is safe. The car's built-in fail-safes prevent any overheating, automatically shutting off the heater once the battery reaches the ideal temperature. Essentially, it's a clever hardware hack that finally unlocks what the car could do all along. For the tech-savvy folks, detailed instructions and schematics are available on Gustafsson's GitHub page, and discussions about the system are buzzing on the VWID Talk forum. But here's the best part. 
he's already working on a version 2 of his creation. This upgraded model connects to a smartphone app, allowing users to control and monitor the battery heating process remotely. It's like giving your Volkswagen an upgrade it should have had from day one. The only catch. The second version uses a custom-made circuit board, and he hasn't found a reliable way to mass-produce and distribute it yet. So for now, the first USB-C-based setup remains the go-to DIY solution for Volkswagen, Skoda, and Cupra EV owners who crave faster winter charging. Sure, it's a little clunky, but hey, it works. And in the world of EVs, where innovation often comes from passionate users rather than corporations, this small hack might just be the spark that inspires bigger, better upgrades in the future. So what do you think? Would you dare to try this DIY mod, or would you rather wait for Volkswagen to roll out an official update? Drop your thoughts below. I'd love to know where you stand on this electrifying debate. All right, it's time to wrap this up. The answer to our earlier question, yes, some folks are willing to tinker with their EVs for better performance, and Gustafsson's project proves it's possible without breaking anything. Personally, I find it fascinating how community-driven innovation keeps pushing the EV world forward, even when manufacturers fall short. Here's a fun fact to leave you with. Did you know that battery preconditioning can improve charging speeds by up to 30% in freezing weather? That's the difference between grabbing a quick coffee or sitting through an entire Netflix episode at the charger. So if you enjoyed this breakdown and want more clever EV hacks and updates, smash that like button, help us hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments, and hype this video to show your support. Share it with your fellow EV enthusiasts. And don't forget, you're not just a viewer, you're part of the EVpedia family. Stay charged, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.